But yeah, I'm excited to see uh, really like solid performance in winter semis versus Pelka. Mm -hmm. Just beat him up, frankly. Yeah. I think lost the game to what was essentially an SD after going for some really cool off stage right. play. So I'm excited to see whatever the pick is. But of course, looks like it is zero seed. Okay. I was gonna say, if I had so pick, Antimony, um, pretty yeah. much solo Steve at this point. I mean, okay. Usually a Peach main uh -huh. still has the Peach in the back pocket if he needs it. But for the most part, really just plays Steve. Nice. Um, you know, maybe if he goes way down here, we see a switch to the Peach. But I, I would expect Steve the whole way through. Um, Sharp, on the other hand, he might switch on a win at any point in time. You yeah. never know. I've definitely seen that before, too. Sharp absolutely destroys Oh, someone I've seen him play, like, five different characters in a five-game yeah. set. Like, <laughs> okay. I like the pressure here. He uh, likes the ZSS, especially against Steve, though. Yeah. I will say that. We've seen a lot of ZSS against Steve. This matchup can be very tricky for Steve. Because there's just, there's no, you know, there's no way to consistently hit Zero Suit without her coming towards you in the first place. Right, right. Steve is too slow to really go force the issue against her. Okay. And the minecarts haven't been working out either. Okay. Not getting that follow-up. I was going to say, like, okay. just go for the kick. No boost idea kick. what that situation is. The boost can kill. Wow. Just about not going to kill. I think it, like, barely did it. Good presence of mind or a good job being lucky. Either way, yeah. can take that first stock. Wow, there's just so much damage. What the heck? Almost a kill there off the side. Right. Animoni finally able to jump out of the last hit, but Sharp really controlling the pace of this yeah. game, and that's something Zero Suit does so well. True, true. You always can you, you have like the option to fall back on just the Zares, kind of play very slow and mm -hmm. space them out. Or you can just go absolutely crazy with it. Yeah. Ha you know, having the ability to just shift into that mode of like, all right, I have Zare, I have side B, I have, you know, I can jump in in neutral air and just jump away right, right. and do something else. Um, or you can jump in with neutral air over and over again. You can go for the <laughs> grabs that are, you know, high risk, but pretty high reward. You can attack chase and kill someone at 20 sometimes. Exactly. Um, and it's the ability to switch back and forth between those so quickly that I think makes Zero Suit, you know, not only a good character, but really strong in this matchup and good for Sharp as a player. True, yeah. Right, we got some iron tools. Looking for the kill. Not gonna get it anytime soon. Still putting that pressure on. Okay. Got some diamond as well. All right. So he's got the diamond tools. His crafting table is running away from. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> oh, all right. Good okay. Stuff. So there's one stock. He's got diamonds. Never over when Steve has diamonds. True, but true. this is a rough situation for Antimony. Okay. Good like idea. The anvil would have come out had there been any iron. Ah, uh, yes. Out. I was like, huh, I wonder what happened there. Yeah, you saw the animation too, but down smash? No, go for the grab. I like that idea. Just reset the situation. Oh, the back air not coming out. Getting grabbed. Good stuff. <laughs> back. Oh, what? what's going on? Oh, I love the adjustment. A able to get that fair one instead of getting the. Uh, going, he was going for back air attack read. Right, right. And the side deal kill, so that's a confident game one for Sharp, taking it convincing with Zero Suit. Honestly, that felt like a game on like cruise control. I don't think there, Absolutely. Were, like, there were no moments that Sharp was really sweating. Uh, it, it, I mean, not to talk down on Antimony's game plan at all, it was just kind of no, outmatched. I think, I think he just kind of run, is running into a really difficult matchup here, yeah, and yeah. he's going to have to make some big adjustments. Definitely, too. definitely. Compete in this matchup against such a strong player. I think that, like, this like, is this is the one seed of the tournament today, Sharp. Right. This is arguably his best character, depending on the day. Exactly. Um, and this is one of Steve's hardest matchups. What I, is Anamone going to do to sort of set up this, the usual Steve game plan against Zero Suit? And I think that uh, is, is exactly what I was going to say. The, the usual Steve game plan is not working out. I think yeah. we need some like more active decision making. Because we just saw a couple of minecarts that like may have been reflexive, mm -hmm. and Sharp was just like, "Oh, thank you." I was yeah. like, "I have this huge punish lined up," and so hopefully we'll see some adjustments to be made. Already looking a little more comfortable. I like the Kalos pick a little more room to breathe. Yeah. But at the same time, Zero Suit's speed is so good right. that I don't feel like Steve's ever gonna have time to just mine. Like, true. true. We saw Antimony low on crucial resources multiple times throughout the last game. Not in danger of running out of the whole block bar or anything, but like. You know, out of iron, wasn't able to get the anvil out a couple times, yeah, wasn't yeah. able to mine card as much as he would want. Right. 
And that's something that hopefully for him he can fix on this bigger stage, at least have a little bit more time to get some materials. Yeah, I think so. I mean, as, as horizontal as Zerosu can be, you know, it, this stage is definitely just a big adjustment from Town City, so we'll, we'll see. I like that. Okay, the lights are coming in. But oh, a solid aerial, too. Looking a lot better for Antimony this game. Definitely much closer. We have a very even start of this game, too. After Sharp really just ran away with it from the beginning in game yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, I like the idea there. I don't think it will really Let's matter, yep. uh, but the, the walls could help Zero Suit mm -hmm. in certain situations. Obviously, the wall jump coming in. Yeah, she's got a wall jump. She can also wall jump off the flip kick. Right, yeah. Like, oh, God, her recovery's so good. <laughs> what a good character. Okay. She's gotta be up there for the best recovery in the game. Yeah. Wow, big Nair. Breaking up that minecart. And see, that's what I'm saying. Like, stuff like that. Yep. The minecart disadvantage actually just ended up being such a boon for Sharp. Oh, and able yeah. to punish, whip finish the up smash so easily, too. Just fearlessly jumping in, forward airing up. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Nice follow up. I like the bait cool. from Antimony there as well. You're building that wall, knowing that Zero Suit has the speed to quickly get over it and punish. Throws up the up smash, but Sharp was ready for it. She's like, all right, go ahead, up smash. I'll break the wall and we'll have to play neutral again. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll wait over here. Yeah. I'll see in a little bit. Already putting that pressure back on. Another minecart. Solid roll, but it actually does work out for Antimony anyway. Okay. That's a lot of damage. Jeez, okay. Oh. Forward here, gonna break it up. Trying Look, to put even that when things are going wrong, Steve does a lot of damage. True. true. <laughs> His character never lacks for that. If he gets one or two openings, all of a sudden you find yourself in triple digits. Ooh, wow. Looking for perhaps a jump out. He also has some pretty unseeable tech out. options. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, Ooh, good back air. Just got some iron, thankfully. Oh no, this has got to be a punish. What is going on? No <laughs> punish from Sharp. Okay. There we go. There Gets it is. Gets a regular get up. Solid right. game, though. Get these diamonds. Okay. So now, this is a much better situation for Antimony. Even right. though he's down a stock, he's got diamond tools, and he's pretty close. Yes. You know, Sharp's high percent second stock when he's on his last stock, as opposed to last game when Sharp was high percent first stock. And like in the grand scheme of things, a pretty good situation to be in. It's like an mm -hmm. auto craft because you're on your last stock. You don't yep. no worry about losing them. It helps you mine faster to get more diamond. And like you can put pressure on like that, covering that roll. All of a sudden, it's an even game. And yeah. Okay. Got way more materials nice. this time than he did at this point last game. Yeah. Even if he loses the diamond, he'll be able to craft another one. You know, most likely. He doesn't have right, it yet, right. but he'll probably get that pretty soon if he keeps mining. Okay. Trying to catch his landing. Minecart's huge. Doesn't get the spike, but still, so much damage coming out. Antimony, one or two hits away from taking this game and evening this up. True. Oh, no way. Is. Okay. Okay. <laughs> say, it looked like this. It's like on Kalos at 90? Spot. Yeah. No way. Okay. I like the down air, but it's still pretty dangerous. Good oh, route. Smash. Oh, the hit lag was so unfortunate. And the Zair <laughs> sharp Triple is so roll. brave. We have Diamond right on time, too, as the pickaxe breaks. Gonna craft another one immediately. Mm -hmm. Minecraft the fall, no. You got punished here though, great up B going low and going fast. Wow. And a really good route to avoid that back air too after the Zair. Uh oh. Very dangerous spot to be in. And that's definitely gonna do it. Yep, the diamond dash attack will take game two. We're all tied up after such a dominant game one. And the money brings it back. Crazy. That's such a funny win I, <laughs> They're all funny. This character's funny. I can't believe this character's in the game still. Hon yeah, honestly, the one trailer of the itself looked like a meme. It really did. Like Mario walking into the Minecraft <laughs> world. It's like, what's he doing here? This is this is a joke, right? What's the Mario doing? <laughs> honestly, like that whole bottom row is pretty wild, but Steve oh, definitely yeah. still for me is the most absurd inclusion. Uh, probably my, one of my favorites, but also the worst Three, two, zero suit alts uh, I've ever seen. Um, <laughs> Going into this next game on Town City, KK's out. Everyone's here to see it. We got a nice. Oh, yeah, great thing about running finals. our tournaments on Saturdays. Yeah, yeah. KK slider in the background. Okay. Nice putting that pressure on. Finally down tilt connecting, but good way to break up that combo there. Nice. Ooh. And I like Sharp converting into that dash attack a couple of times. We saw him kind of miss a couple of potential combos right. last game where the where Steve was just a little too far away after this combo starter. Converting into that dash attack twice when I don't think anything else would have connected. Has a pretty solid percent lead here on the first stop. Nice. Wow. Oh, converts it into a kill right away. What a call out. We've seen Antimony able to get back safely a couple times with those high elytras. 
And you're going early and quickly going to the ledge. Oh. Sharper's ready for it this time. Yeah, it's also interesting because like you'd expect a minecart there, but Sharper's mm -hmm. is ready for the immediate up special. Okay. Forward are gonna break it up. That nair could have been it. Thankfully yeah. for the Antimony fans, it was not. Ooh, okay. I love all that coverage. <laughs> Shows so good. That up here is so scary. I don't it's not plus in this game, but it's like minus probably two or three still, I, I think. So. It's like functionally safe. It's, okay. it's, it's functionally plus when you consider that she has a frame one job. Yeah, yeah. Crazy catch with the flip kick. Can't get caught mining too much. Okay. Just a little bit of iron here, so we're going to see a lot more of these vertical sections. Okay. Very I dangerous. feel like Antimony is still playing decently well. It's certainly much better than game one. But yeah. this is back to where Sharp wants to be. Right, right. Like he's got a solid lead. He's been able to punish these options in disadvantage that are usually so hard to punish against Steve. What an angle. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, what a route, too. I love it's that a, tether. It's a really scary angle to be sent at if you are not Zero Suit Samus. Yes. <laughs> if you are, you really don't care. It does not matter. And Antimony is going to find that stock, but this is, uh, this is a rough situation for him. I don't know, we never know. These combos already tagging on some damage. Oh no. Oh, he hit his own crafting table. Okay, Not still. gonna die to that yet, but this is a bad spot for Antimony. Definitely. We're looking at one more side special. If the plasma web comes out, will probably be it, but solid parry. And oh wow. Okay, I almost was right, but that's back. We'll definitely Here do it is. Yep. What a game. Alright, so 2 1 Sharp. Uh, Sharp's wins have both been dominant, but it's still 2 1. Right, you know, right. Anthony did take a game. That was definitely just, still alive in the sud. That was just a, a bit of a like a snowball of a game. Honestly, mm -hmm. we had like some pretty favorable platform layouts mm -hmm. uh, on town. We had a lot of good combos, a lot of early stocks too from Sharp. Like we saw the back air catch the elytra early. Right, stuff like that is just. It, it, Total like 95 too, that's right. huge in that kind of a matchup. It's very likely to take the wind out of your sail, so I, I understand why that game went that way. And I definitely am still optimistic for the rest of this set. I like going back to Kalos here. Yeah. Uh, it is three bands, no DSR. Right. So Kalos was open last time, it was open this time. I do want to see if Antimony wins this game, oh, I would like it. to see him ban uh, <laughs> Town. Yeah. Because Sharp has been very dominant there compared to the game here that was very close and Antimony is able to win. Well, we'll see. So far, it, we might not have to worry about yeah. that. It's a little early to say for sure, though. Okay, especially when Big this... Big damage on this combo. Yeah. Gosh, the STI as well. Okay. Basically ties that game up off the off that situation. Okay, the minecart also going to oh, help out. so ridiculous. It's, what a good move. Okay, wow. I love all these options from Sharp, only because they're like low risk, high reward. All oh, these yeah. down smashes, the plasma whips and the Zares. Right, Antimony finally getting some time to mine. It's very important. Already like pretty iron deficient, especially after that down air. <laughs> okay, plasma whip. Solid, solid. Yeah. I don't know the uh, the exact tables of like how much Steve mines on each place as well as I would like to, but I believe he gets a lot more iron here than he does on town at least. Yes, yeah, yeah. Because his, his, his bar has had a lot more of it consistently. <laughs> right, right. No, this is definitely a Steve favorite for a lot of reasons, and uh, that definitely is one of them. Also, this helps, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really good platform layout. But Sharp fighting back. Huge up air. Breaks up that minecart. Now no iron. Oh, great, tough. great offense Sharp here. Got the Sharp. Oh, Sharp knew, but couldn't find that hit. Okay. That's fine for Sharp, though. He'll take that. You know, this is a very even game. All of a sudden, he's got a huge percent lead. Oh, yeah. That's a kill. Yep. And the platform assist as well. You can hold so hard into that. Finally, some iron too. And we saw how like integral the iron is to like the Steve gameplay, especially off stage. Yeah. It was so hard for Antimony to get minecart, obviously down air, so many things. Stuck in a rough spot. Oh no, another rough <laughs> spot. <laughs> comboing, ready for the tech as well. There, sharp comboing off the block tech. And again, no iron. So we're gonna have to just see the up bees come out. Oh, okay. Okay. Wow, I love that. So that was such good pressure. <laughs> Catching the jump too. Yep. I like the immediate sideways Elytra again, but this is this is a tough spot. Antimony on his last <laughs> chance, but okay. Sharp lets him back into this game. For and two immediately seconds. takes it away. <laughs> <laughs> for yeah. exactly two seconds. That Gives was hope for just a fleeting moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice. Very polite of Sharp. But that was just a clinical display of like here is how you stop Minecraft Steve from mm -hmm. ever touching the stage. Yeah. 
the edge guarding is like just more and more advantageous for Sharp. For sure, yeah. You get stuck in those spots where it's like, okay, like minecart's not an option anymore. All of a sudden, this character is a lot easier to edge guard. I yeah. can continue the up air strings because I don't have to worry about getting anvil. I don't have, you know. And it's just the pressure too, like once, and once once he was able to finally make it back to the stage, mm -hmm. Sharp was just right there to keep the pressure on, make sure there was no mining whatsoever. Absolutely, that's you know something that makes it so difficult. ZS has having that much speed as well as the hitboxes that she has. Her right, hitboxes right. are small. But they hit at good angles for fighting Steve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, Sharp did such a good job using all of that, all of those tools at once, just to make sure that Steve was never going to have enough resources, never going to have an right. easy trip back to the stage. Like, and Antimony had, you know, he made some adjustments, won a game in game two, was able to keep the others relatively close, but just wasn't enough. Sharp really pulling away those last couple of games.